sometimes pretty privilege attracts a lot of people that desire you, but they don't value you. There's more to you than just your looks. a little bit different from my norm um i'm gonna do a little get ready with me but i'm also gonna do a little bit of chit chatting as well i really don't have any like topics to talk about like i have like a solid five but i think i want to drop one of these like every month so let me know how you guys feel about it if you guys want to have like more discussions of course you know drop what you're feeling or what you want to say in the comment section below i want to talk about a pretty privilege and is it really a blessing or is it a curse so first of all, I'm gonna have like a disclosure right here. I'm gonna look down. This is honestly opinion based. Um, I'm just gonna basically let you guys know like my hindsight into it, cause you know hindsight is 2020. So we're gonna start off like a deep dive into like my upbringing. I owe a lot of that to wanting to be like a Disney princess. So growing up on that, I'll use Cinderella as an example, even though she isn't my favorite princess. But with Cinderella, she was perfect. She did everything around the house, no complaints, no talk back. And you know, she ended up with her prince charming at the end of the day. And I feel like even though it may have been a nice message to be kind to others and then you'll get your good karma or whatever in the end it's misleading because it also goes in with the narrative of not standing up for yourself and you have to do certain things to get like a prize which is a prince charming at the end of the day which if my girlies are watching then you know that having someone around is not gonna bring happiness all right, so now that I got all my stuff together in front of me, let's continue this conversation. So the older I got, wanting to be a Disney princess honestly transformed into wanting to be a trophy wife. And a trophy wife basically entailed to me um, having characteristics, keeping myself up, keeping myself looking good for my man, my high value man, my prince charming and um basically living the most perfectest life together without me having to say or do much what a naive little girl i was that idea honestly spawned something in me that i would truly say was low self-esteem it took a lot from me because i didn't feel like much was accounted for other than my looks and also being pretty or having pretty privilege i feel like a lot of eyes are on you and when a lot of eyes are on you it makes more of your decisions very like like the lens is on it which is a lot for a person like it's like trying to have media training but you know you're younger and you don't know so you're just like let me not say anything especially for a quirky black girl like me you guys it was the struggle i felt like i had nothing to offer so i would stay quiet and think that that was the best thing my personality was completely hidden i kept it inside and i only showed my family because you know family loves you for who you are but in trying to get a man why show my personality that's not needed and trying to make friends why show my personality that's not needed the only best asset in my mind unfortunately was my looks which I'm so happy that I grew out of that. And we're gonna get into that too, but first I wanna like go into this Britney Renner clip. First of all, hi. I crave connection, but I am not entertaining men for the sake of having notifications. I know what it's like to be desired by men. I don't know what it's like to be valued by one. When people ask me, why hasn't it worked out with anyone? Well, because I've never valued myself. I've been running from myself for a really long time. And I'm no longer drinking it away, eating it away, sleeping it away, fucking it away. I'm sitting with my shit. I was entertaining conversations with men I knew I would never take seriously because I felt like it validated me. Single, I'm alone, but I'm not really. I have people on my phone, but I never needed anything outside of me to validate me. But until you're ready to get that honest with yourself, you'll keep looping back until you do something different 
you're really only holding yourself back and prolonging the inevitable which is you having these difficult conversations with yourself you don't believe in love you're desperate you don't think you can do any better ultimately you feel like it's what you deserve anything you attract from a disempowered state won't last that's a feel good life quote and you deserve all the things that you deeply desire but your actions have to align with your beliefs okay so now let's talk about that clip a little bit um the reason why i included that is because i feel like britney renner is like a main person that suffers from pretty privilege not being a privilege but sometimes it could be a curse especially if it's not used right the way how she explains it is honestly like i relate to it so much sometimes pretty privilege attracts a lot of people that desire you but they don't value you there's more to you than just your looks honestly i truly believe pretty is a mentality it's an aura it's an energy that you keep around you when you're pretty it can attract a certain type of energy where you attract a lot of users and if you're not wise to the game then you will be used up i also like in her clip how she explains setting boundaries setting boundaries you guys will open the door for things that you didn't even realize boundaries is what helps you sit in your bs and come to terms with why things may not be working out in your favor oh my god i love this highlighter this is okay real quick though i got this from ipsy is the anastasia 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 concealer and I, it's in the dark it's in number 18 i think it's dark yo it blends like butter but watch my vlog because i'm going to show you guys the sephora haul that i have oh, i'm so excited to try out that makeup but not anytime soon but anyway back to what i was talking about you realize that pretty privilege it opens the door for a lot of people and it opens the door for you as well but the people that you attract in especially if you don't have any self-love or self-esteem they're gonna try to be around you not for the complex components that make you but just because of their wants or desires like for me especially being such a naive little girl i feel like i attracted a lot of people that wanted to use me and what honestly helped me the older that I got is feeling self-love. I'm not saying that I'm there 100%, but a lot of the stuff that I tolerated when I was younger, I definitely don't tolerate now. Setting boundaries and sitting in whatever you're sitting in, like Cranes in the Sky, like that song. I feel like a reason why a lot of us relate to that song is because it's very true. Like it's telling to what you have to do what you have to endure to get into a better stage of your life with self-love nobody is perfect pretty privilege isn't a magic key that unlocks everything because i wouldn't want to be sitting in not that the position that i'm sitting in is bad now but people make it seem like it's a magical key i'm not gonna lie everything that i've gotten i promise you i in my mind i feel like everything that i've gotten was because I was driven, I was hardworking, I had the love and support of my family. I think that stuff is more of a key to unlock your future or what type of goals you want to hit more than pretty privilege. Um, that being said though, I feel like everybody could kind of learn from this. I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I don't want to do too much because this is Sunday fun day. I am just sitting in the house. Ugh, let me do my lip gloss. Hold up. That being said, I feel like anybody can learn from this. Pretty Privilege, yes, is a blessing. It does open up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities um, if it's used correctly. But I think it's also a curse because at the end of the day, it's like, a, it's like the reverse coin flip of misogynistic thinking. Um, it attracts a lot of, if not used in self-worth and like a positive orb around you it can also attract a lot of like bottom feeders to be honest i know that sounds rough but it can attract a lot of bottom feeders like you have to work on yourself this goes for anybody as well self-love is the biggest key it doesn't matter 
what you look like. I promise you it doesn't matter what you look like. At the end of the day, if you're having self-love and self-worth, then you are going to set up boundaries. You're going to have limitations on what you expect versus what you don't expect from people. And by having that, it removes the things from your life that aren't serving you. And by removing those things, it's going to open up a space where more things can be given to you. You have to make room for the new things, for the new benefits, for the new anything in life that will be for you. And that's just a period. It may be rough in the beginning to set boundaries or it may be rough in the beginning to see things leave you, but I promise you there's bigger and greater things out there, especially when you're standing and walking in your truth. But I don't have anything else to say. Um, you got to get into this basic slay i don't know it's hard to do makeup and talk at the same time we're gonna get there one day let me know how you guys feel about this if you guys want more talks once again this is opinion based i want to see how you guys feel on the subject matter too i don't have anything else to say now i'm just chatting and rambling and rambling and chatting i'm about to go drink my wine go cuddle up with my boo and my dog and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one hit me with them comments down below bye